we were doing testing hypothesis and we were discussing about what kind of statistical test we can use to test any assumption or hypothesis. So remember we are in the inferential statistics where we want to test any assumption, any hypothesis that we make about the population. We take a sample, we test it and then we make an inference about the larger population. In our last module, we did the t-test, which is very simple and easy, and we did one sample t-test. In one sample t-test, usually one standard value is given, and we compare the sample mean with that standard value. For example, just if someone claims that this class ka average IQ is so high, we will take a sample of that class and we will test that what the claim is that the average IQ is so high, is the hypothesis correct or not. लेकिन मोस्ट केसेस में हमें इस तरह से स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू नहीं दी होती स्पेशली इन साइकोलॉजी व्हेन यू आर कंडक्टिंग रिसर्च व्हेन यू आर डूइंग ग्रुप रिसर्च और यू आर डूइंग योर थीसिस मैनुस्क्रिप्ट्स डिसर्टेशंस यूजुअली व्हाट यू आर डूइंग यू आर कंपेयरिंग टू ग्रुप्स इन क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजी और इवन साइकोलॉजी मोस्टली व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर कंपेयरिंग मेल एंड फीमेल वी आर कंपेयरिंग ट्रीटमेंट 1 वर्सेस ट्रीटमेंट 2 वी आर कंपेयरिंग थेरेपी 1 वर्सेस थेरेपी 2 uh, so, uh, in some experimental design, maybe we are comparing uh, uh, two groups or social sciences, maybe even. Just uh, like we say, uh, working women ka stress level kya hai as compared to non working women. Ya phir how boys are different in their achievements as compared to girls. So, when we have to compare two independent groups, we will be testing those assumptions or hypotheses through independent sample t test. So independent sample teeth is just a naam se hi hai ke samples independent hoote hain. So the two groups that we are comparing actually are independent means that we have different people in group 1 and we have different people in group 2. So two sets of data could come from two uh, completely separate groups of the participants. So that's why it's called independent sample t-test. Or it's called independent measure design bhi kehte hain or between subject design bhi kehte hain. Because between subject means that you have two groups independent. Uh, there are different people in group 1, there are different people in group 2. They could be entirely different populations like boys and girls, married, unmarried. So then you are comparing them. So it's called independent or uh, between subject design. In contrast to um, between subject design, we have our within subject design as well. It's called repeated mayor. So repeated measure is totally in contrast with the independent uh, sample t-test. Repeated measure mein hum uni subjects ko, yani usi sample ko time 1 pe aur usi sample ko pe hum time 2 pe measure karte hain. For example, jaysay aap experimental study run kar rahe hain and you are kind of looking at ke aap ne koi bhi therapeutic intervention di hai, aap ne koi therapy di hai, for example depression ki therapy di hai, so what is the improvement? So you will be taking pre-test and then the post-test uh, and in between you have the treatment. This means that the only subjects who you have time one pay assess kiya hai, uh, usko baad mein aap treatment and the only subjects ko same sample ko aap time two pay study. Karte so repeated measure or within subject design means that we are using the same sample, same participants, same subjects at time one and then time two and we will be comparing those two groups ke unke andar kya difference aya hai improvement hui hai ke nahi hui um yaad rakhen ke har test ke liye whatever test statistical test we are using we have to make certain assumptions un assumptions ke baghair hum move nahi kar sakte kyun kyunke um first kare agar hap ne assumptions hi galat hain aur aap us test ko le kar ke chal rahe hain to aap you will be ending up with the you know, misleading results or maybe you cannot, you know, use those results to kind of make inference. So, t-test ki assumptions ye hain. Pehli sab se ke observation within each sample must be independent. Ye observation independent sample, ye assumption independent sample t-test ki hai ke joh humari observations hain ya samples hain, they should be independent. The two top populations from which the samples are selected must be normal. Har parametric test ki normality ki assumption must hai or normality ki assumption humne sampling distribution kiya tha or humne kaha tha ki if everyone takes sample from the same population and report a value jasse mein aapki puri class ko kaun ki 30 bachche hain 
they everyone uh, draw a sample of 10 people and report the mean to un means ka jo distribution banega that will be normal or in other words agar hamara sample size greater hai greater than 30 hai to naturally uski distribution ki shape normal banegi to hamari dusri assumption ke hamari underlying population jisse humne sample draw kiya hai that should be normal or this is assumption that the two population from which the samples are selected must have equal variance also referred to as homogeneity this is very important for t test particularly for independent sample t test kyun kyunki aapne do groups ko compare karna first kare aap keh rahe hain ki main boys aur girls ko compare kar rahi hu on achievements lekin agar already dono groups mein variability bahut zyada hai first kare aapne jo boys recruit kiye hain sample 1 ke andar they are really intelligent already या उनको आपने टॉप स्कूल से रिक्रूट कर लिया और जो गर्ल्स का सैंपल है वो आपने ऐसा किया है कि उनकी है सो so, अगर ऑलरेडी डिफरेंसेस हैं ग्रुप में तो मे बी यू कैन नॉट कंक्लूड के बॉयज आर मोर इंटेलिजेंट एज कंपेयर टू गर्ल्स तो होमोजेनाइटी ऑफ वेरिएंस का मतलब है कि दोनों ग्रुप्स में जो वेरियंस है या जो वेरीबिलिटी है दैट शुड बी इक्वल इसको हम होमोजेनाइटी ऑफ वेरियंस कहते हैं और हम इसको थ्रू एस टेस्ट भी कर सकते हैं सो ऑल दीज थ्री एजम्पन्स वी नीड टू मीट बिफोर वी गो हैड and run independent sample t test